But today we wanted to talk about 80s movies. So we're going to take our top five 80s movies that we like and kind of dissect them a little bit and talk about when we first saw them and what was going on in our lives and just some interesting things about the 80s movies. So let's hop in and nerd it up about 80s movies. All right. It was kind of hard. You know, you look at all the 80s movies oh, and man. it's tough. It is tough. <laughs> to narrow it down. Yep. And one thing, we both have kids. What I really enjoy is introducing these movies movies to our kids for the most part at least on my side i don't know if you can attest to this but they enjoy it oh yeah they totally. love them <laughs> yeah it's it's one of our favorite things to do and i'm, I'm constantly trying to think of different kid friendly movies yeah. you know and things are a little bit different when we were kids it was like oh it's pg no problem but now you're like okay it's pg so there's probably something really bad <laughs> you know? yeah you yeah. know you're looking at the 80s like pg it's a it's a quite a bit different dichotomy but but yeah it's we love doing that i love like oh i remember this movie back in the day we got to watch this you know i got to rent it or whatever you know so we do that quite often and i cannot think of a single movie that i've ever introduced to them that they're like ah, yeah. i don't really like this you know when i when i showed them the masters of the universe movie they're they were so pumped and then about halfway through they're just like what is this you know like <laughs> yeah. this isn't he man you know but outside of that all the all the movies that i introduced to them is just it's fun it's a oh, blast yeah. just to see that uh, innocent like first time you know at joy you know they sure. don't care about like the the graphics and stuff because like today like cgi is identical to real life you know and so like back then it was like oh it was a good attempt you know? yeah yeah they, <laughs> they, they keep it in context they do they do and they understand it, it is a little dated but for the most part uh one on um, tangent here, side note, I guess my daughter loves the original Karate Kid. Oh, yes. And she always makes fun of, and then she started watching more 80s movies. Like, hey, Dad, does every 80s movie have a training montage? <laughs> That's I'm really like, good. Yeah, you're right. They kind of do. do. You know, I showed her the Rocky training montage, and yep. uh, there were some others. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you're right. There are. Yeah, it was kind of a thing. That's for <laughs> it was sure. a thing. So. That's funny. Well, let's dive right in. Uh, first one. I've got, and this is in no particular order, we just, or at least me, I just picked five. Sure. This doesn't mean it's the number five, but yep. um, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, and it came out on June 20th of 1980. It was rated PG, but back then they didn't have a PG-13, so GPG and then rated R, and I'll get into that in one of my other picks that started the PG-13, but Empire Strikes Back, I loved it because in my opinion, opened up a whole new world to the Star Wars universe. We had a little bit of a peak in the Star Wars first movie, but this one, we got to see a much better lightsaber battle scene. Yes. Which, <laughs> the first one was, oh, eh. This is kind of like, yeah, they're just like kind of tapping their stuff. and then, yeah. yeah. And that was it. This Somebody one, died. we've got backflips. Oh. We've got... Swords is going back and Incredible. forth, and hands coming off, and, and the cinematography of it all was just—it was so well done, oh, so well done. Yeah, it was just amazing. We got to see Master Yoda, yep. we got to see bounty hunters, we got to see the Wampas, the yep. snowmen, abominable snowmen guys on yep. on Hoth, and the the Imperial Walkers. I mean, you, there's just this whole thing that opened up, and then what really was iconic for me was. Vader bowing before the Emperor. Yes. Like, what in the what? world? Yeah, he's he, got a boss. He's yeah. got a boss? Okay, if this dude yep. can force choke people through screens, he's bowing to this guy? Yeah. I was like, what is going on? Yeah. So I thought that was just amazing. And I saw it in the theaters when I was really young. So it came out in 82. I would have been, or excuse me, in 80. But I think... No, Return of Jedi came out in 85. Or, excuse me, uh, 80. I'm sorry. It came what? out, Empire Strikes Back came out in 80. Oh, Empire Strikes Back. Okay, yes. Gotcha. Yep. And I saw it in the theaters. But if you recall back, well, even 20 years ago, the run on in theaters was much longer. I think right. I saw it maybe in early 81. I can't. I was only six years old, seven years old mm -hmm. tops. So it was one of the first movies I think I went to in a theater uh, that I can recall. Sure. You know, at that age, I can be, I can only remember right. a few, oh, a yeah. few images boat. here and there. But the real memory I have, though, was when we got it on, it was on TV. And so we recorded it with the VCR. Yes. <laughs> and I still have it. I'm going back to my parents' house soon. And I know I know nice. we still have it. Nice. So it still has the commercials and That's everything. That's so fun. And it's so grainy. Yeah. Because oh, <laughs> it was at, via antenna. But that's a whole other level right there. you got to show your kids like that. You know, this is how we watched it. Sit down and watch. And they're going to be like, what? Like, they're so used to that HD. Yeah. And then you're going to be like, you're going to sit down and you're going to enjoy this. Exactly. You know? <laughs> and we, we lived in the country, so we only got three channels. 